My name is Sam Bagnin. I am the author of Malignant Self Love, Narcissism Revisited. Are fingerprints all that they are made out to be? Well, fingerprints were first used to identify criminals in Bengal, India, in the 1890s. Ten years later, the London Metropolitan Police introduced them as pieces of evidence in 1901. The Illinois Supreme Court was the first to rule that fingerprints are admissible evidence. The FBI currently holds the fingerprints of more than 80 million people, close to 40 million of them in a computerized database. In January 2002, a federal judge in Pennsylvania ruled that fingerprint examiners testifying in his courtroom will have to convince the jury that fingerprints discovered in the scene of a crime belong to a specific defendant. In other words, fingerprints, according to this judge, are no more reliable than any other type of evidence. The claim that the error rate in matching prints is zero has never been proven scientifically. Latent prints lifted off crime scenes with the application of special chemicals or ultraviolet light. These kind of prints are often incomplete and indistinct. The matching of prints re requires an overall impression of similarity. Less charitably put, fingerprint matching is an art, not a science by any means. The minimal number of points of similarity required depends on the jurisdiction. Some jurisdictions demand nine points of similarity, others up to 16. It was Francis Galton, a 19th century statistician, who pegged in 1892 the probability that the prints of two individuals would match at 1 to 64 billion. This calculation was based on 35 to 50 Galton details, features related to ridges in the fingerprint. In forensic practice, only 8 to 16 such points are used. No one knows to calculate the probability of matching fragments of two individual fingerprints, though most fingerprints recovered from uh, crime scenes are partial. In the case of Byron Mitchell, in 1998, two latent prints were said to have substantiated his guilt. The FBI sent the latent prints, and Mitchell's inked fingerprints, to the laboratories of 53 state law enforcement agencies. Of the 35 that bothered to respond, 14 failed to find a match for one of the two latent prints. America's National Institute of Justice, an arm of the Ju Department of Justice, is conducting a study of the reliability of fingerprinting for the first time and finally.